Hello, we've got a really cool vintage handgun to look at here, and uh, looking at it is great. I mean, take a look. It's a really cool design, isn't it? it kind of looks Art Deco-ish to me. This was invented in France in 1882. About 10 years later, it was being sold and marketed in the United States. From what I read, there was no licensing deal or anything. It was just, hey, that's a good idea, so we'll start making it over here as well. But, you know, that's the way it was back then. Now, it ended up going through some different branding changes and corporate changes, but basically, it ended up being what we're looking at here. This is the final and most famous version. It's the Protector Palm Pistol by Chicago Firearms Company. And here you can see why it's called a palm pistol, because you hold it in your palm, of course. Uh, a lot of novel things about this gun. One of them is not just the fact that it goes in your palm. There were other palm pistols, and I'll have another video on a, a different vintage one in a little bit. But see the way that the barrel protrudes from between your fingers? That was one thing. The circular design is another. So this is almost like the first ergonomic handgun, in a way. I mean, you can just see how naturally it fits both your thumb, you know, on the one side where it pushes in, and the grip overall. So here's how it worked. You squeeze your hand together to get it to fire. So that big, big lever up against my thumb, that's actually the trigger. Here's a view if you're shooting out. You can see how strange that looks, right? This is a firearm. <laughs> it just doesn't look like it, does it? So you can see it's got kind of that safety guard up there going up against my index finger. And then where my middle finger is, here comes a view from a vintage ad. See where the middle finger is? There's something that looks like a trigger there, but it's not. That's actually the safety. So you've got to depress the safety with your middle finger, then you squeeze your hand together, and shot is fired. It feels really great in your hand, by the way. It's hefty in a good way. Obviously, the it fits nice because of the circular design, the way your fingers wrap around the parts as meant to. Really, really fantastic design. So here's a close-up of kind of the maker's mark. Nice and crisp. I love kind of the rubber textured grip that they have around here. Not all of them had that. Sorry about this picture not being in focus, but there's the other side, and it's kind of neat to see the actual date on there. And as you can imagine, we're looking at the chamber, right? It's all on the inside there. That's where the bullets are. And here's, look at that hefty hinge. This thing has to be made solidly, because it is a gun, but to open it up, uh, just like that little construction detail, this thing has to be really solid, because you're going to fire it while it's in your hand. So you do not want it, uh, you know, malfunctioning or blowing up while your fingers are wrapped around it. And again, I just love the design. Maybe because it was designed in France. I don't know, but it looks great. I mean, it's really beautiful, but let's talk more about the operation. Uh, on the inside, we're going to have a schematic, an old schematic coming up. Just picture the bullets being like the, as somebody else said on a different video about it, like the spokes on a bicycle. So you see figure number two there? Imagine the bullets pointing out. So as it spins around, it lines up a bullet with the barrel, fires, and of course as you squeeze the trigger, it brings another bullet to bear. This is a double action revolver. It's called a turret revolver. And there you go. You get seven shots with this, and this was a 32 caliber weapon. One interesting design note here is that once you're done firing, you're done, right? You're not going to be able to ask somebody to wait a while while you disassemble this gun, remove the spent shells, and then reload it. All so that you could reassemble it to then take a shot at them, right? Not going to work. And I am sure this was not part of the design, but, you know, got to go martial arts geek here. It fits your hand so well, and that barrel, that stout barrel, protrudes out from between your fingers... I think this would make a pretty handy fist load as a weapon, if necessary, once you do run out of bullets. It's not going to feel good, that short little barrel striking, that reduced surface, and the round base at the hand. I think that might actually work pretty well, and it's got definitely got some heft to it. I couldn't find any evidence of it being used that way, but there's very little evidence about this thing overall, which surprised me. I was looking for crimes and whatnot with it, and you get more like novels, fiction, more than anything else. And that's surprising because this was a popular design. Quite a few were made. One other design note, the idea supposedly behind this and the circular shape <clears throat> was that it was supposed to be kind of like a pocket watch. Guys were already used to carrying those, uh, so fits in there nicely. And that's a great feature. You know, they're rectangular palm pistols, and that's going to feel very bulky and awkward in your pocket compared to something like this. So kind of like a soft sap. Great idea for ease of carry. And as you've heard me uh, go on about before, that is important because a weapon is no good to you if you left it at home or in the car or in your desk because it's just kind of a pain to carry. So that's it, the Protector Palm Pistol, a really gorgeous design. Highly functional, I didn't find any complaints about, you know, its usability, and an interesting piece of uh, handgun history.